Good morning, everybody. What's up, chat? Welcome back. Good to see you all here for some more Manor Lords. I'm just getting as far as this frontier, but if you haven't yet played this game, I would highly recommend it uh, before you go off and play Manor Lords at the end of... Actually, wait. Wait. As of yesterday, we're now a month away from Manor Lords. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. It's coming up quick. We're probably going to get early access here on the channel, and I really hope we do. And Manor Lords has reached out to me about something that's pretty damn cool. So we'll be... Uh, following up with that. I'm wearing yellow today, so I'm going to be like, you know, a, a hollow soul today. <laughs> so just get ready for that. Anyway, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. We're playing the newest update for Farthest Frontier, which just dropped about a week ago or so. Uh, but we took our first look at it the other day. So let me just go ahead and get this. Um, uh, let's see. Got to. Oh, wait. Hold on. Got to get this uh, play test back up and locked in so we're going to just try that in a minute or two anyway uh yeah so manor lords is getting released into early access in april april 26th and manor lords will be big and farthest frontier i think is going to be released in august uh, although the developers haven't given us an actual release date or window yet i think it will be uh very soon uh, I think it'll be in the summer. I think it'll be August, but it could be maybe June or maybe later, depending on if they end up with some um, problems. I was a little disappointed in their stream. We The other time that we just watched the Farthest Frontier update, we went to watch the community manager uh, kind of show off all the things that were new in the 9.2 update. And it showed off like stables and horses and chickens, which was a surprise and awesome, and goats, which was a surprise and awesome, uh, and a few other things. But they made mention that the uh, game would not have um, like bridges and ports and like anything that would really go on the water or like on an ocean or a river at launch. And they said that maybe it'll be a thing like a DLC in the future. And I was really disappointed because I thought they would put in some big stuff. They also mentioned that like tier four is pretty much the end tier for the game. Um, there's not going to be any tiers past like tier four. There technically is tier five and you can build tier five houses and you can build a tier five um, or maybe it's the tier four city hall. But basically there's not like really an official true tier five. So I, honestly, I don't know what the hell they're waiting for then. I, I don't know what else could come out between the update that they... Uh, gave us in the stream a week ago, basically saying no rivers, no bridges, no boats, uh, no tier five. I don't know what else they're working on then because I, I, I don't know. I know they're always working on optimization, which is good. The game had some severe optimization problems, but it looks like for the most part, those have been relatively resolved. And um, then they said that they were going to be working on um, you know, more things to do with the military, which was the recent update as well. That was kind of more of a focus on, the, even though they added chickens and uh, goats and a changed trading a little bit so that you can buy those from there. Um, you know, they made it so that way the enemy raiders will come in with horses and stuff like that too. So we'll see. Anyway, my uh, steam, steam is trying to sink the cloud right now. So just give it a minute. But anyway, good morning. Good to see everybody here back in Raptoria, locked in, ready to go. How y'all doing? Welcome. Yeah, we're on the, the what is it, the 9.2 beta build. So um, I, I think this will be, this is probably going to be the last major update before uh, the game comes out in what I'm assuming to be August. So um, there'll be probably, you know, hot fixes and patches to the current version, but I don't think it'll be anything major. Um, in fact, I think it still says 9.2. I, I don't know if they did any like day one hot fixes for it, but that's what they do. Usually they'll drop a, um, they drop an update into a kind of like a beta that you have to access. And then, uh, once you access it, um, then eventually they'll release it. They're basically doing like a, a beta play test for the current version. Oh, let's jump back in. Everything looks good. Ba -na 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 -na. You were disappointed with no water stuff? Yeah, I, I, there was. there's so much uh, more they could do here, but I don't, you know, it, it's great that we got horses, stables, chickens, goats, that's great, but uh, I feel like um, that could have been an update or two ago, and that there should be some bigger stuff, like like thicker walls and more serious gates. Um, this game's so good, I just, I just want more, and it, I think that would be the problem no matter what in the game, that there would always be the desire to have more because it's good. Um... But I was still expecting at least Tier 5 and Tier 5 buildings and maybe... Wa like, you know, we see a beautiful city here and then we see a river and we see a coastline and I would have loved to have been able to, 
you know, build like a, a dock or something or a pier or a port or something and have people uh, work there and trade via boat. All right, we're back in. We're locked in. There we go. All right, well, uh, let's get back to it then. Always fun to build a city. We've been having a lot of problems in this city with smallpox, so we're building a ton of hospitals as well. We keep getting uh, big, huge smallpox outbreaks that are ridiculously violent. So we're going to try to fight against that and put a lot of effort towards uh, medical. Mm-hmm. Oh, we could sell flour, okay. We have chickens now, that's cool. Well, let's see. Yeah, so we got our first chicken coop down. You can see the chickens there. Under the chicken coop. And I think we only got seven of them. Unless they've had babies now. 11 out of 24 they have. Cool. And I wanted to move a lot of our buildings around and stuff too. Oh yeah, being able to request trade items. That's cool too. Yep. It, they're very expensive, but it makes it a lot easier. Oh, oh there we go. 10 people coming on in. Did they mention modding support? Uh, they did. But they mentioned that it would be for decorations and for, um, I think, map making or edit? I can't, I can't remember. Decorations was one, and I forget the other thing. Maybe new buildings. All right, good. Population over 500. Wow, that is beautiful. Three Twitch updates. Whoa. Oh, we can set a grazing area for horses, too? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, and their grazing area is as big as the uh, the cows. Cool. I think we're going to make uh, apples up there at some point. Now that we got all these new things I wasn't expecting with the update, uh, we're going to have to redo the farm a little bit. We don't have horses yet, but I just built the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that volume is way too loud. That's louder than most buildings. <laughs> yeah, the horses are really loud. Oh, we're being raided. Oh, it's not really anything big. Oh, it's just people defending that ruins. That's weird. We'd already started to excavate that. All right, I want to change around the farms a bit. Uh, we probably have a cow or something loose in here, right? Yep, damn it. Someone go get that cow. Anyway, we're building like a sheep shed or a goat shack or whatever. A couple other things. Okay. Housing. We only have housing for 47 more people. We gotta build some new houses. So we'll get this area nice and flanned out. Is there a sheep shed down by the seesaw? There is, yes. Bum, 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 bum. Every once in a while, a cow will get out of the barn and head over there. It's rare, but it happens. Manor Lord's playtest? I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, we're making hay here at this field. That's one of the new crops, too, is that we can grow hay for all the animals, which is nice. 
And we don't have to continuously make uh, more farm fields for uh, grain. Which is cool. It's good to have variety. Oh, good. We're only negative one in the money. Beautiful. We were having some money trouble. How are we doing on gold? We have 12 gold ore. And then where's our smelter? There's our foundry. How are we doing on iron? 364. Okay, we'll double down. Actually, we'll, we'll go three. Three gold. I think we're going to make another smelter here. What is that? Mm, I think we will. I'm going to trim down those walls a little bit. Make room for more buildings. Alright, game, you need to relax. I think the game just spawned a bunch of raiders at relic sites? It did. Okay. Alright, that's weird. So... We're going to have to go send uh, our army to where the raiders are to clear them out if we're going to keep excavating. That's interesting. Well, we can send out the troops. I'll recruit one more person. Let's recruit a... Is there a way to do a crossbowman? Light infantry, archer, heavy infantry, pikeman. I like how they've done that. So then you can actually have a fort that's all... That's kind of cool. You could have two forts built next to each other. One of just archers and one of heavy infantry. And then you can have the have them kind of deploy together. Yeah, some sounds are a lot louder now, yeah. Like overall, the game is the same volume it always was. But then they've increased the volume of like the horse stable and a few other things. I guess we'll have to... Give feedback on that, and then they'll lower that down a little bit. You think the archers will go for the crossbow over the bull? Yeah, you're probably right. They'll prioritize crossbow, and then if that's not there, then they'll probably go for the uh, then the regular bow. Good, we're building another hospital, good. Or at least a healer's hut, I think. Old age, okay. Okay, as soon as that person's done seeking weapons, we'll send out the military. I'm gonna start clearing out these, um... I'm gonna start clearing out these tents. These, uh, relic sites, I mean. We were already... Ex what's interesting is we were already, um, extracting from them, no problem. We were, like, halfway done, and then... Raiders now show up, so... Eh, it has something to do with the update, I guess. Man, we need to make more money. What's up, Straight Smoke? Need somebody in the bakery there. Yeah, pretty much every relic site's got trouble. Game looks pretty cool. You've never seen it before. It's good. 
It's very good. Uh oh, rabies. How do you get rabies? Oh, there. A damn wolf coming out of the corner. Nice. Now we got the goat barn ready. Cool. All right. Um, shut that down too. We just want people working at the chicken farm. <laughs> All right, food's coming in for the winter. Um, oh, do we flatten this land? Is it better now for house building? It is. We need some more houses. And maybe a theater over here, too. Maybe like here ish. Couple more homes there, that'll be good. Yeah, at least there's more than cattle, exactly. I think the uh, goats are probably a good early game thing to get then. Uh, that's interesting, it'll change the playthrough a little bit because they might be a little more affordable. And also goats are a little more resilient in where they can graze, so they're perfect for the arid lands. So you don't have to worry so much about them. Oh, all right, the raiders decided to attack. They're all dead. Wait, it's just a guy. A guy is attacking. They've sent in a guy. Watch it, everybody. There's a guy. Alright, cool. He's dead. Alright, cool. Wow, that was close, guys. That was a real close one. I was almost thinking about reloading the save. But uh, somehow we managed to pull off a W. Can't believe it. Wow. Uh-oh, they're sending in another guy. Uh-oh. Revenge for the other guy. Oh, wow. This guy seems mad. He's more than just a guy. He's a tough guy. Wow, look at this health. I don't know if we're going to make it. Chat, hold on. Okay. We killed the tough guy. I'm gonna upgrade that tower. Oh. Multiple tough guys. All right, we're 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 clear, we're good. I guess they attacked from like a bunch of different angles. Okay, we're gonna move these fishing huts too. There's so many things I want to do. I think we should focus on the industrial area first, especially getting our money back up. But that's coming down to gold um, smelting. And I guess we're finally making enough glass. Like, we've got room for, like, four more employees. And we're making enough, so we got some wiggle room there. Let's build another foundry. Just for gold. It's like our gold foundry. Two brick makers, nice. Yeah, that was, I know, that was close. Yeah. Um, 
What a pretty winter. Oh good, kids are growing up. They're entering the workforce. We have 174 adults. That's good. Looks like the military is ready to go. Well, that must have been the rabies guy. Um... Military. All right, let's have these guys go to each of the little sites. Oh, it's marking where they are. Cool. Oh, there's. Pro oh, there could be two here. We got more relics to get. I, I hope. I wonder if they added more relics actually in the update. They didn't mention it, but it would have been really cool. That would have been really neat. There they go. Hey, where are their shields? They have a shield. But they don't carry it. I guess it pops out when they start fighting. Swords, shields, okay. So we're mining a ton of gold ore. I just need to be able to process more of it now. We keep doing the thing where we, you know, we increase production of gold, then we build a foundry, and then we build another gold mine, and then another foundry. Good way to bring in the, the big money. Otherwise, we could shop Menards. Hey, what's up, Tom? How's it going, bro? Good to see you in the chat, man. Our good friend from Poland. Uh-oh, double raid. Oh, good, this is where our military... Oh, yes, here we go. We're about to see a fight. Let's go. Okay, our troops are, like, not really fighting smart. Why do they do that? They kind of just rushed in randomly. Here, let's pull back a little bit. That guy's dead. That's better. Wow. Our dudes are just clearing the rest of them out. Look at that. Oh, my God. They didn't even try to fight back. Good for me. All right. Return to the barracks. Go heal up. Oh, there's more. No, 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 no. Go away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're good. Bye. I'm going to go take a nap. Bye. Actually, this is good. Let's lure them into the towers. You see me, I see you. Let's actually have our troops go here. Now this is interesting. Before we really didn't have to clear out the, the, the relics. Like they often didn't have people guarding them. 
Like every time I, you know, that, that was supposed to be how it was supposed to happen, where whenever you'd find those relics, they would be guarded. Or really not just guarded, but like, eh, like kind of like we're just bandits who are making it their camp. So now we're going to clear them out, which is cool. Alright, so now we're going to rally by the tower, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I see you, yeah. Alright, looks like they're heading back. We'll uh, continue the attack with more troops. We're going to need probably a group of 24, then we'll work up to that. That's what I think we're going to try to do today, is reorganize, and then re reorganization, money, and then military. going to be good times. You always did love the aesthetics of the game? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like this looks different than Manor Lords, but I feel like you need to play this or check out this game before Manor Lords too. Like they go really well hand in hand. Oh well, warehouse is almost full too. So that's a cooper making barrels. We could put that here. Or I have to figure out what else I want to put there. What's up, bars and bolts? Good to be back in the game. All right, we got to think about organization. I need to make like a warehouse district. I think Big Money Masuk is here. Let's check out the deals. Ooh, he's buying glass for a high price, baby. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Oh, we were able to make so much glass. Beautiful. And what's he selling? Tools, furniture. Oh, he's buying furniture. He'll sell us some medicine. That might be good for if we get into smallpox, but I don't think we can control when medicine is consumed. So they'll just use it right away. Anyway, let's transfer money back to the town. We'll check back on that trade deal later. Oh. Granaries are... Two of them are full, and they haven't even filled the third one, so that's good. So we got two granaries full. Third one ready for additional... More people for milk. Wow, we're getting a lot of deaths here. Old age. Okay. Not much I can do about that. Uh, not much I can do about that. Hmm. Raider. Oh, what? They tell you that there's a, a raid incoming. Oh, that's kind of nice. It helps you ready your defenses and stuff. That's really nice. Let's get our troops back in the uh, barracks then. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's really nice. All right, let me get... Um, We're going to start de dealing with serious attacks now. Let's get two heavy infantry. Love that they tell you that a raid is incoming now, because then you can kind of prepare for it. It's not so much of a surprise. Oh, wow, we built a third hospital. Great. 
I'm going to have to move these around a little bit, but yeah. Okay, so let's cut down trees. Get ready to expand the city this way. Oh, the rain is so pretty. Good morning, chat. Good to see you all here. Welcome back. Yeah, we gotta make a warehouse district. Maybe we should make it like down here, like kind of close to the city, but not in the city. We do kind of have to have warehouses in multiple spots. Hype? I know. I'm very hyped too. Okay, did Big Money get any of the stuff he needs? Okay, still waiting for our people to do that. Eleven animals born, good. I wonder if it'll break it down and tell you what, what was what. Uh, this should break it down. It shouldn't say eleven new animals were born into your livestock herds. It should say uh, 11, 11 livestock animals born. Then you should be able to click on it and see four chickens, two horses, whatever. That should be a, a breakdown. Another trader coming in. And it is Beldar. Well, we wiped him out. I think I'll take the clothes back. He's also selling chickens. Okay. So typical typical price of chickens is about a hundred gold per chicken. Okay. That's cool. And horses too. He's selling. Oh, he's selling those for a discount at six ninety five. Ooh. Um. Well, if we get two, they'll breed, and we can. Oh, he does have two. All right, we're buying two horses. Yep. And we'll wait for a while on horses. <laughs> I'm going to get two people to work there. <laughs> so the horses will go graze the open land too, and then only rely on hay in the winter, so that's good. And we're like growing hay now. But they'll probably also eat grain. We got plenty of grain. But we want to save that for bread and beer. Well, the houses are upgrading. That's nice. We've almost got capacity for 600. And we got that foundry almost done, too. Maybe we'll move the storage from here to there. That's almost at 3,000 capacity, too. Yeah, more wood is needed. That's true. More wood is always needed. More wood. Still no glass for Big Money Masuk, and he's leaving in two days. Got to fire everybody who was working there. This guy has 5,437. We have all this glass. Gotta, gotta fire them all. What were they doing? I guess I'll just sell the rest of whatever. Get all this stuff out of the storage.
I wish they need to, they need an option too to be able to prioritize. Like if you're if you're asking for multiple things to be transferred to the trade depot, there should be a way to queue it up in an order. So it's like if you want to trade glass, candles, shoes, and like logs or something like that, you should be able to do that in an order. That should be a thing, damn it. May have to call the cops on that one, chat. Uh, where's our walls? Okay. And did the military get all healed up after their battle? Ah, looks like they heal up pretty quickly. Archer, heavy infantry. Oh yeah, we should be able to change out these military types too, right? Military company window. How do I change out their job? Everybody's assigned as heavy infantry, but I'd like to change that, actually. Oh, they got a little veterancy, too. So that's going to be a thing to worry about. The more kills they get, the better, more, um, more effective they'll be. So how do I change out the infantry? I don't want to recruit new people. I want to change what we currently have. I guess I could fire who we have and then change them, but... Well, I don't know. Whatever. 12 heavy infantry is fine. We'll just turn everybody else into archers. It's fine. Will their pay increase veterancy? Uh, I don't think we can adjust pay. In fact, their pay is actually reduced because I have a relic that uh, lowers the uh, wage or whatever. So I think their wage is set, and then you can reduce it only with a relic. Which I think cuts it in half, or in, no, 30% or something. All right, let's have them go back over here. Clear these guys out. So now that we got more military to play with, now we can kind of figure out how veterancy works and formations. Obviously, I think heavy, like less heavy infantry up front and pikemen if they have horses. And then I think light and, and archers are going to be the best. I, I really think you could just destroy the enemy with crossbows because the... Your troops are able to ho hold, like, 40 bolts times, like, if you bring 12 archers, you should be able to mow down at least a, uh, a relic army. Pretty, pretty easy. I right, they want more food types here. Cutting down more trees, getting closer to that sand mine. Bro, we've been mining sand from here, like, from the beginning of the game. That's why we have so much glass. I think we'll get two more people there. Clay, we're down to 2,000. Okay. We're using clay for pottery and for bricks. Yep, the blue and yellow hoodie today, yep. Where is the military?
Oh, they're arriving now. Alright, we'll wait till the whole group gets there. Unfortunately, they seem to w move in different speeds based on maybe their armor type, which is going to make it a problem. They, I don't think there's a way to march, which you kind of want to keep them together so that way they all can respond to a threat together if a bear pops out or something. You never know when the bear attack's going to happen, Chad. It could happen right now. You never know. I think we'll keep at least two of these here. These two. Hmm. We could do these two there. We could move the Cooper here. Then we want to build our walls. Uh, let's see. Wait. I want to put down my favorite plants, the, uh, I think it was the juniper, right? Yeah. Oh, did two people? No, I think that was from an attack before. Somebody died. This is Villager. Wow, look at that. Cutting right through. It looks like our troops are a lot weaker now. Even with the heavy armor. Alright, we'll get the troops close and keep clearing that out. What is it I like so much about the junipers? Uh, they're kind of like, um... Like a poplar or whatever. They, they're, they're really narrow and they stand up straight, so they kind of... They just kind of fill the space nice without taking up too much. I did put spruce here, though, to, to kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, we're clearing out all these raiders now so we can get our um, villagers to... Uh, Go back to excavating some of these ruins. And then we'll get um, random relics, and that'll give us a bonus somehow. Hey, welcome back, Charles. Mama. Heavy armor troops and horses are good. Yeah, we just got some horses. We'll uh, check on them in a little bit. We'll wait until they uh, breed, and we'll have like a whole cavalry wing going. Okay. Four hundred logs. Well, we are cutting down a bunch of trees. And we're clearing that out for an orchard eventually. I'm waiting to get an orchard so we can get preserves going.
Can we create cre uh, cavalry yet? I think so. <laughs> we do have some horses, so... I'm working on it. We're going to get more, though, before we do that. Right now we have, like, two horses, so I want more than that. More. Blacksmith Forge is ready for an upgrade. Nice. Okay, let's get the rat thing out of here. We do need it for the warehouses, though. Put it there for now. Clearing out some room for more storage. We're moving stuff around. We're working on moving military and money. The three M's. Not to be confused with the Minnesota mining and manufacturing known as 3M. Same people who invented the sticky notes. Yeah, the patch is out now in a play test. But I'm not sure when it'll fully release. They're still doing some testing. Oh, rain again. Yeah, you're thinking about uh, Foundation, yeah. There's another game out there where you can build a military, and then the king will ask you to, like, send troops to the... Like, you can build kind of like a local militia or whatever, or train troops, and then the king will ask you to, hey, let me borrow those troops for this big thing I got going on. And if you send your troops, then you get, like, uh... You get, like, uh, b like bonuses or rewards from the conquest. It's pretty cool. Smart way to do it. Hmm. Money, military, and moving. That's what we're doing. Let's move the well there. I don't think we have to upgrade any more storages yet. Build a little road here for the chicken coop. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't know about Manor Lords yet. Um, we, we have yet to play Manor Lords. You know, we've played a demo two years ago, and that's about all we've gotten for it. Which is why I'm putting up videos on it again, because they're so... Even though everybody covered Banner Lords and everybody's excited for it, there's very little content on it. Everybody covered the demo, so there's tons of demo content, but uh, when the early access game releases, that's when we'll get our first look at how the game will truly be played. So we will see. But we'll be covering Banner Lords uh, probably early before it comes out. It'll be releasing for everybody on April 16th, and the developers are likely to send over something early for us, hopefully.
and then we'll all get to see it and see how good or maybe not so good it is but I feel like the developers just put in nothing but pure heart and passion and so we can see that To move a lot of the hunters. This is good. We're, we're getting organized now up here on this damn hill. Finally moving things around. Getting to see the new military stuff. It's nice. What's up, Fred Neck? Good to see you. Yeah, this is from the Grim Dawn folks. Yep. They're also apparently working... They announced that they're working on another RTS. So they've got Grim Dawn. They've got this, which is a city builder. And then they're working on an RTS, which could be... Grim Dawn inspired or maybe it'll be something completely different or maybe like this game it'll be somewhere between the two like it'll have lore and connection to Grim Dawn but will still be its own thing because there's references to some things in Grim Dawn in this game but that's about as far as they go Grim Frontier yeah We do want to have different storage around, though, to reduce travel time for certain things. But travel time's not too bad, especially since we've been upgrading the roads. Oh no, they sent in some guys. I think he died. I didn't even get to see him die. I'm pretty sure he's dead. All right, so we're putting some storage up here, manufacturing, beautiful. Troops are going in and kicking ass. Go, Raptoria, go! Tempest Rising? That's going to be a cool RTS. I'm excited for that one, too. I think we got one demo on that one as well, like a year ago. A lot of really cool games coming out. We got like one demo, and they were really fun, and then that was it. But it's fine, because the developers, you know, go right back to working on their stuff. Okay, that's another area cleared. Let's return our units to base. Still a little money issue. But we can up upgrade the foundry. That's what we should do now. We're going to upgrade that foundry. We'll be able to produce more gold that way. I think we need another gold mine. But we need more recruits before we do that. Did I ever check out Astronauts? Uh, videos may be on the channel. Otherwise, continue to send me DMs chat on games you want me to check out. I have been getting your messages and taking lists. I've been writing them down. And uh, waiting to see if some of these games come out or have demos again or whatnot. So send me some DMs.
You're waiting for StarCraft 3, but it'll never happen? No, it never will. And the reason that is is because, uh, you know, Blizzard can release a skin or a horse or a mount or something for World of Warcraft to make seven times as much money than they ever would on StarCraft. So, no, they'll never. They have to make exponential profits, otherwise they're not interested as a corporation. That's how corporations work. They release something that makes 50 mil... Bi 50 million dollars? Okay, let's release part two. Dude, it only made 60 million. Oh, dude, they hate it. All right, next. Canceled. Like, oh, it made just as much money and more? Dude, not enough. Had to make t two times. Exponential. Had to be exponential profits. Shutting it down. That's the way it goes. Boom, boom. Sins of a Solar Empire 2? I don't know. I, I'll have to check the channel to see if I played that one. I honestly don't remember. I may have. Well, Chad, that's why people love indie devs, because they're gamers who are making games for gamers. But then there's corporations that are creating a product to bring value to the shareholder. Stay away from that stuff. That stuff's gross. Like, for example, Rockstar is kind of becoming that way, too, where it's like, Red Dead was pretty good, but then they did it dirty with the whole multiplayer thing, and they kind of... Uh, they, when these guys figure out that they could just cancel, like, Grand Theft Auto V DLCs and expansions and new character, Like, we could have gotten all new characters and all new moments to love. Instead, it's just like, basically, GTA 7 is just going to be an open world simulator. No characters. You just pay money and then you get stuff. It'll basically be like, you know, it'll be RuneScape, but Grand Theft Auto 7. Not 6, 7. 7 will just be... Hey, we're working on the city. We're very excited. Uh, you you get to tell your story by giving us crazy amounts of money. Never fall for that one. The the your story is like your choices matter. Whenever a game says that, they usually don't. Usually. Uh, Homeworld three videos are on the channel. All right, uh, I gotta move all these rat things out of here. What is this? Oh, the basket maker. Where's the Fletcher? There. We gotta redo this little shop area here too. Getting like completely overgrown with trees. I'm going to clear all that out, reorganize that area, and then let the trees regrow around it. That'll look cool. Got a little room there for a decoration. Alright, um... Oh, we could sell 200 candles. Good. Oh, glassware. Nice. That yeah, doesn't have much money left, though. He's broke. He's selling, uh... Oh, no. I'm not buying that for that price. 
He's selling tools. Yeah. We can make all that stuff ourselves. Oh, good, and the foundry's almost upgraded. We need more bricks. Gotta make another brick uh, maker area. Maybe we can take these two and move them down here and make this all bricks. Something like that. I need more people to work these jobs, though. Yeah. All right, we'll wait a little bit. Oh, yeah, getting a lot of old age death. Yep. Population's probably going to dip before 500 again. Uh, there's not a release date for 1.0 for Farthest Frontier yet, but it is this year. <clears throat> they did say it'll be this year, but they haven't said exactly when. My guess is the summer, probably late summer, like August. But uh, they're going to be... I'm assuming what will probably happen is when this build is stable, they'll push this build out, and then shortly after, I think they'll announce the full release. But, alternatively, they could also just do full release announcement like before, like a week or two before. And just be like, hey, we're releasing. Which is fine, too. Alright, we gotta move some stuff around. Um, let's do a warehouse district here. Lightning hit a building. Move some of this stuff out of town. I'm trying to clear out this area too so we can build more houses here. Just by just by scooting things around, we're making space. And uh, by the way, remember, more people living in the city means more money from tax dollars, especially when their houses upgrade. So ideally, we want to get all the houses up to the next tier. So these houses here. Which seem to have a problem with furniture and desirability. So we got to make some more furniture. Let's do that then. We'll double the people working there. Satisfactory is getting a 1.02, yeah. Um, unfortunately, there are really too many games. Too many good games. There are very good games out. And they're all very good. Oh, are raiders approaching from up here? Oh, I love that they tell you in advance. But is it like a f actual raid or what? Get me... Three more archers. Then we'll have four. Um. Oh, we're doing okay on money. What was that? Oh no, do they have catapults? What was that? That was a gate that was destroyed. How the hell did that happen? Oh, oh boy. Alright. Oh, that... Oh, that was misleading as hell. Oh, those... Yeah, it says a party of 19 raiders are attacking, and the arrow was pointing up here. There was also an arrow on the right, but I thought it was for the, uh... for the relic army that was standing there. This is very bad. We have a catapult coming in and launching... 
How did they destroy this, though? The, did the catapult have that kind of range? This little gate got destroyed, but I don't know how. This is bad. Alright, there's a large army here, and there's, like, looks to be two catapults, too. This is where cavalry would come into play, where we could flank behind them. So this is the big attack. I was not anticipating that. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. We'll keep our troops where they're at. Oh, they got cavalry too. Cool, look. Oh, nice. Looks like just two. Maybe, maybe more. Four, maybe five. Oh, now we're going to have to start stepping up our game. Which is exactly why I stepped up the... Production of, um. We gotta step up our production of gold. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna start put, pumping out more gold. So we can start recruiting more people. And then. I think we should stay in the in the part of the uh, fort on the left side. Norja, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Well, good news. Our hunters are these people here are just hunters, and they're doing a good job of destroying the uh, the, the battering ramps. Battering rams got all distracted and went up there. Wow, those catapults are crazy accurate. Where are they firing from? There. So that's their range. Almost like kind of half half the screen almost. This is bad. Right, I'm going to sound the town alarm. This is going to be an actual huge attack. We're getting everybody in. Wait, why do I only have two archers? What happened to all the other people I hired? Didn't I hire, like, two more? Oh, maybe they're right there. Oh, they're fighting out in the streets, I think. Screw that, stay inside. Use those uh, arrows. I never built another tower there. A lot of their army is running. Eight thousand HP on the uh, garrison. All right, hopefully we can stand. No, oh, they're running. They're running. Now, where's the horses? Glad we built that tower there. Oh my God. They're about to destroy our initial storage cart. Oh, there's the horses. Alright. More of the attack is on the way. We've got multiple troops, and never mind, they're turning around. They, we did it! Hell yeah, brother! Ew! Hell yeah! Oh, they're turning around. They gave up. Beautiful. All those a-holes are still doing damage. They're trying to destroy our food storage. That's right. 
It's spring, so we don't really have much food. We ate it over the winter, so that's not that big of a deal. All right, and that was like minimal. Lo that was a huge force that attacked with like two catapults and like two battering rams, like six to eight horses, but we did it. All right, let's rebuild everything. That was cool. They destroyed a couple fences, a couple watchtowers. Oh, the cheese maker. Ugh, monsters. I think we'll buy bricks the next time we can. Whoever may sell bricks, we're going to buy them. Get a lot of these buildings rebuilt and or upgraded. Alright, everything's being rebuilt. A few people dead, but honestly, for as huge as that attack was, we did it. First try, dubs in the chat, let's go. That was, uh... I did not think we would uh, survive that one, but we did. That was beautiful. That was really cool that they attacked the fort, too. All right, so now we need time to rebuild. And somebody died of old age. Oh, wounds from battle. Six people moving in, good. All right, that's good. How did she die from wounds from battle? Man, we have like eight hospitals within a block of each other. Do you know what I mean? And we're getting good money. Okay, so now, yeah. We gotta keep our policy from before where if somebody brings in bricks, we gotta buy them. Get rid of the baskets there. We could sell pottery. Oh, crossbows too. Perfect. Transfer shoes back to town. And Atka of the Iron Clan. Hello, welcome back, ma'am. What do you got? Mm, no, not really. Could try to sell some stuff. We got a bunch of beer here to sell. Let's go 300 on that. Maybe we could do it before she leaves. She's leaving in 69. Nice. Days. All right. Let's rebuild. Move that one over there for symmetry. Killed by raiders, what? Are people still trying to go out there? Items pillaged, 33 smoked fish, 500 meat, 400 cheese. They were hungry. I guess it was from when they attacked the uh, cellars. Oh, we still got plenty of food. Not the cheese. Fine. We're good. Got to have those smelters working overtime. Actually, what I could do is put the two smelters on this side and then put the blacksmith forge on the other side there. Anyway. Does she have any food we could buy? Maybe we could just buy a little. No. I 
Actually, uh, what I should have did is bought some goats from Anders Plains Rider, but... <laughs> we now have two horsies, yay. Birth rate zero per year. How do we get more? Well, we bought them for cheap, so... Easy to feed them hay. Weed level 40%, okay. So we can change this out. There. So the clover, I think, will do weed suppression. I hear fighting? Uh oh. Two people are intoxicated. Oh boy. Okay, we have uh, rat coverage there. Let's decorate. Let's put an oak tree down. Then we'll add some junipers. Hey, there we go. got back in there. Eh, it might be because one of the fences or something was broken. Still working on fixing that. More towers? Well, we got to rebuild all of our old stuff first, so the next couple of years got to just be the rebuild time. My glasses are yellow, and so is my shirt. And so apparently green equals yellow. Now I'm going to make a big area for all the rats. And then maybe I'll move this down here. And then I want to add some more houses. What do we have for population? 494 out of 581. Yeah, if we build a claymore... Uh, farm, then we could be planting claymores. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, well, yeah, we're very transparent here on the channel. Yeah, eventually I want to make books and stuff, but now with the new military update, we're going to we're going to kind of focus a little bit more on the military and uh making some money and stuff. But uh I think it'll work out cuz the update has made the enemy more dangerous, so we're preparing for that and we were able to withstand their last attack pretty damn good. So I think we're as they would as today's youth would say, we're Gucci fam. Yes. Yes, we are Gucci fam. New villager born, good, and a villager has died, wow. Hey, things are moving and shaking though, things are good. Now, where do we put that warehouse? I think we can move, there is kind of a mini industrial area here, like a weaver and a candle maker, but it's so minimal. 
Unhealthy livestock. Uh oh, that's gotta be the horses. One of the cows is having a bad time. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll just change the grazing area over here. Area around us is going to be super fertile. When we go to expand the farms, we got immediate fertile land to build in, so we're good. Drunken fighting again. <coughs> what is this, Stadoni Street? What the hell? Okay, so we got to come up with an area to put all the rat catchers. Maybe here? Alright, we'll call this area the Applebee's Memorial Rat Catcher Area. Powered by T-Mobile. Good, good, good. We're probably going to be attacked again soon, so get ready for that. Seems like those raiders are ultra aggressive. around. We gotta get this area clear. <sighs> How'd you get to the combat update? Here's what you do. Go to Steam. Download Farthest Frontier. Once you got that done, go to Properties. Once you got that done, go to Betas here. Once you do that, uh, there's a drop down here for the playtest, and there's a little code you have to enter. If you go to Google and type in Farthest Frontier Beta Access Key or Private Beta Code or whatever, you can copy and paste that and plug that in here, then click Check Code, and then it should bring in the playtest. And the playtest is the current military update 9.2 type thing. So that's how you'll access that. Yep, yep. That's how you do it. Yeah, powered by T-Mobile and funded by the IRS. I forget the code. It's like a series of letters and numbers. So just, like, if you just go to Google real quick, it'll just be there. Even I had to, like, Google it the other day. Even I. Ah, beautiful. You know, chat, I've been getting a lot of extra keys from developers. I... I I think we should do a Raptors birthday giveaway. It's not my birthday anymore, it was on Saturday, but for whatever reason, I've just been getting a lot of extra codes from developers for games. Like, they send over an email, and they're like, hey, our new hotel our new uh, hotel simulator is coming out. Here's 10 keys for you and to give away. It's like, oh, well, that's really nice. So I think, Chad, what we will do is we will do, we'll start doing some giveaways. We'll contact our mods and 
Maybe we'll do some giveaways in our Discord. So exclamation point Discord. It's free for everybody. You can come join. Or we can drop some here in the in the chat. The YouTube chat and the Twitch chat too. And speaking of Twitch, by the way, we're 10 followers away from 19,800. So exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat. And if 10 of you guys follow over on Twitch, we're up to 19,800. Don't let my dreams be memes. Wow, we're plus 200. That's good. Oh, now plus one. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. All right, we still got to give our people like a year to kind of rebuild. And it was not a great year for food. Well, we got lots of meat that will be smoked, so that's okay. And we still got lots of grain, which means we're going to make lots of bread. So 7,000 grain, which equals 100 flour, which is making a lot of bread. Okay. Bread just takes time to make, so it doesn't count as food until it's converted as bread. So we've got food potential. Thank you very much, uh, Lupicaru, Sarge, and Kojo. Thank you very much for following on Twitch. And thank you very much to uh, Missile for becoming a Tier 1 Twitch sub for two months. All right. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the super chats, member bombs. Uh, thanks for clicking join. Enjoy all your perks, everybody. Enjoy. All right, couple goals now. One, get the population back up to 200. I'm uh, sorry, up to 500. And hopefully we have a big group of settlers arrive again. As we're still moving things around. This is good. We're about to, like, finish the, the neighborhood, you know? And like expand this way. There's probably enough housing for like another hundred people if we do it right. Fifty to a hundred, for sure. <clears throat> Yo, Elon Marks, thanks for the two years due to support. Congratulations on the blue eye, man. Dino nugs in the chat for everybody. Get those dino, get those dino nugs going. Damn it. One of my excitement levels about Manor Lords. You know, I've got to say, I'm I'm very very excited to play it. Um, regardless of whatever type of game it will be, I know it won't be a perfect game. I think it'll be a better game, or a different. it'll be a different game than what I think. Uh, I think it'll impress me that way. I don't think it'll be the greatest game ever made, but I think it will be one of the greatest games ever made in terms of it being made by a, like, solo developer who's then kind of asked for some help from, you know, here and there and whatnot, and it's an RTS slash city builder that everybody everybody just has been really enjoying medieval city builders for the last few years i mean banished the new stronghold stuff um manor lords uh the announcement got everybody excited we got medieval dynasty out and then of course the medieval dynasty multiplayer update like people have really more than ever been enjoying building stuff in a medieval setting that's not all focused on war manor lords certainly has war in it but it's not like uh it's not war centric you know like it's called Manor Lords, so you're kind of like building a manor, and you're gonna like build and protect that, but that requires you to build a city. And I think games like Farthest Frontiers also helped to build the hype for Manor Lords too. Like I knew about Manor Lords before the Farthest Frontier came out, and when Farthest Frontier dropped, I remember I was at I was like at an amusement park, and I got an email. I was like, "Hey, there's this new city builder out called Farthest Frontier," and I came home to play it. And everybody was like, "Oh, everybody was so excited." Everybody was like, "Oh my god, this game is so cool." It was really nice. And it's only been getting better. But I hope the 1.0 release means that there's much more in store. But it seems like they were focusing on an RTS, so we'll see. Uh, no, the developers have said that Farthest Frontier will never have multiplayer. Wow! Yeah, that's right, D. Wow. 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 I don't know, Bob. I don't know. Uh, money. Eh, things are fine. Ba -na 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 -na.
Wait, how do we have no fish? Well, we got people fishing. I don't know. Will I be a part of the Bellwright playtest event? I don't know. I mean, I played that game and I was confused and I didn't really... I didn't really know what I was doing, so I didn't enjoy it. But I'm willing to try it again and figure out what the hell's going on. Am I okay with people raiding me on Twitch? Sure. That'd be nice. But yeah, maybe we'll play Bell, right? I just want to get into more games where I can play them with uh, all of my friends and we can experience them at the same time. But sometimes they're all busy. Sometimes it's hard to play with the Goof Troop because the options are play Helldivers for the 40th time, which is fine. But I'd rather play some new builder game with them. Alright, um, yeah, food's bad. It was a pretty big raid that year, though. You want to train in Farthest Frontier? Man, if somebody could mod that in, get us into the Industrial Revolution. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. That means people are fighting again. They're drunk. All right. Do I have to shut down the bars? You guys need to stop fighting. Wow, 73 years. Wow, this city has made crazy progress for 73 years. I think we can cut back on these. I don't think we need Fletcher production so high. Now we could squeeze the Fletcher in there where I put that tree. That would look nice. And it's near the military fort, which makes sense to make weapons over there. Uh, the game calculates bandit raids somehow, like it'll change. It, it's not always more and more and more. It, it fluctuates, but I'm not sure how. All right, let's build some buildings. We need to build our cobbler shop. It's where peach cobbler comes from. Nerdapalooza, you cause trouble in taverns? Uh... I really want to play more of um, Traveler's Rest, too. That and Stardew Valley are two out outstanding, fun little games. We're going to play more Stardew today, I think. I plan to. I wish I would have played it more consistently, but uh, many other games and many other updates to check out. So much to do, chat. So much to do. Hmm. Is it based on your gold income? Um, I yeah, there's a few factors. It's not just one thing. They've said that. Well, we could put this one down here. Oh, Pravdu Dobre. Good. I like it. FF Patch Live. Oh, did they just release it? 
I didn't see a post on Steam. Let me just check real quick. They may have released this to the public, so you won't need the password anymore. Mm, I don't see any news. Yeah, I see their last post was on March 6th, and that's about it. So I don't even think there was any hot fixes yet either. Which is good, that means there probably haven't been any uh, ma massive game-breaking bugs that have warranted an emergency... Uh-oh, smallpox. Uh-oh. Alright, shields up, we got a smallpox outbreak. This is going to be very bad. Let's hire all the doctors. Shields up. Damn, I wish they would show you who was sick so I could, like, micromanage them and have them go to the hospital, but go, like, the back way. Alright. Get ready for a huge smallpox outbreak. This could be bad. The patch is live. You're updating now. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. How ironic that I'm live on the day that the patch is now up for everybody. That's great. They didn't post anything. Did they say anything on Twitter? No, they didn't even say anything on Twitter. You know what other city builder I want to play recently is, uh, now that it kind of came out more often, High Rise City. We played that a few times, but more than ever I've wanted to play them. Have I been attacked by the catapults yet? The volume of them is so loud. Yeah, I got attacked by two earlier. It seems like the, the horse stable and the catapults are very loud. So they, they seem to have, like, if you have your volume at 100%, they're almost at, like, 120%. Yeah, we got somebody in the street attacking everybody. And we, we gotta buy bricks, even though they're very expensive. What can we trade for bricks? <sighs> we need bricks to upgrade some of our buildings. So, I'll give the uh, trading post 5,500 to deal with that. We'll check back in a little bit. We need bricks, man. Gotta rebuild buildings, gotta... Actually, I think most of our buildings are actually rebuilt. But what's wrong with the cows? Animal has gone rogue. Oh my god. It's the cow revolution. Revolution. They're revolting. They are utterly disgusted. Maybe away from keeping their servers from being flooded? Well, this is a single player game though. And the only servers that would be flooded would be Steam. For the download. I think it's Steam can handle that. I don't even know how many how big is this game chat? Like what? It's like five, ten gigs or something? It's it's not a very large game. So the patch has got to be even smaller. I think. Yeah, they'll be flooded with steam. It's a super quick update, only imagines a hot fix or something. Oh. Well, we'll have to see what they post in a... today. 
post another storehouse up. Yeah, I want to move the basket weaver down here. Actually, <coughs> maybe I'll keep all of our industries together. The uh, small ones, like the candlestick maker, basket maker, and um, and the potter. Keep them together. Yeah, the revolution. Yeah. Well, let's move our well. Well, well, well. Get it out of the way so I can do some maneuvers here. The patch was 2.9 gigs. Oh, really? Really? Uh, sorry, too poor to pay to watch on Discord. What? You don't have to... What? Discord is free. And watching the stream is free. Yeah. Everything is free. The only thing you gotta pay for is if you'd like to become a member, you can hit the join button. It's literally a 99 cent tier. That's like cheaper than a pack of gum if you wanna like get access to the emotes and stuff. But if you think I really earned it, then you can always upgrade your membership and support even more if you want to. But the barrier to entry is very low. At least that's how it is on YouTube. On Twitch, you still got to do the tier one, but that's that's fine. I appreciate your support. It's not necessary, but appreciate it. Oh, there's more rats there too. Good. <laughs> the only cost is a smile. Tee hee. Yeah. Another teddy bear emote. There's a there's a new bear emote on YouTube. All right, another granary. Um, maybe we could store food around here. Get this stockyard out of here. Maybe I'll put this stockyard down here for now. The constant dance to move things around. Uh, we have chickens, yes. And I built a goat shed, but I haven't bought them yet. Right now I'm kind of struggling to get my population back, but that's got to be a bear. Yep. Oh, there it is. D has summoned the bear. There we go. God, could you imagine if this game had Twitch integration or, like, YouTube integration where if you guys uh, spammed an emote, it would just spawn bears? Now that you build all the hospitals, you only get one person smallpox. Yeah. Well, that's good. All right, now I'm going to get rid of the doctors. Oh, well, that was good. Somebody got smallpox. They immediately went to the hospital, and it was taken care of. So. Glad we have so many hospitals. Soon the bears will be in space, like they were yesterday for bears in space. That's very... It's very good, viewer. Very good observation. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, why are people dying? Oh, old age. Ah, oh, the population's plummeting. All these old age deaths. That's all right. We'll get a wave of immigrants soon. Looks like our population is trending down. Well, you know, after a raid and... Yep, more old age. Yep. 
This is going to be a, a tough year to recover from. It's going to probably take like 10 years to recover from this. All these old age deaths. Missing heavy tools. We've got nine. They just got to be delivered. Uh, the update was pushing playtest to production. Playtest time is over. I was checking the forums. Oh, good. Oh, what the hell? Random raid? Oh, good. They're right next to the uh, fort. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Sound the alarm. Damn it. It was just, it was like an attack two years ago. Now we're being attacked again. Oh boy. Okay, luckily they're attacking the town hall. And that's pretty well defended. We're going to have to build another barracks. I need more people to do all this, though. We need to get our population up. The hell did they hit there? A statue? They're attacking the hospital. What the hell? That's a war crime. I guess those don't exist yet. You sons of bitch. Run back. Ah, uh, we lost so many people. We need to, we need to get fifty people. To get to get back to where we should be, we need fifty people. I had to save the hospital though. If we didn't do that, if we got smallpox outbreak, that may have not been enough hospitals to stop that. Wow, the raids are so aggressive now. I can't believe it. Need those bricks. Ah, damn it! Whoever sold them, I think it's gone. No, Beldar's gone. I have the hunter. Bows, crossbows, and towers deal fifteen percent more damage. Ooh. Blacksmith and armories work faster. Oh, I think we should get that one where the towers do more damage. Yeah, I saw the uh, new No Man's Sky update. I didn't see what it was, though, but I, I saw people tweeting that it was coming. Okay, I might want to buy this. 
Bows, crossbows, and towers deal more damage. I think we want that. Yep, we want that. That was easy. We got all our money back. Okay, I don't think I want to sell anything for a while. All right, we're switching that out. Switch to... I have the hunter. Alright, so that means all of our ranged weapons will do more damage. <laughs> you want me to name a garrison after space bears? We'll see. Uh, we've lost so many people in the first attack, then old age, then another attack. We're gonna have to cut an industry. And we're out of logs too. Yeah, we can do it. We're okay. Oh, man, that was brutal. Okay, well luckily we didn't take too much damage to the city, so there's not much to repair, but the lives were probably a little bit more important. Yeah, we got uh, we got attacked almost twice in a row. Two large invasions with catapults. I didn't see cavalry that time, though. I didn't see it. Oh, another old age death. Oh, wounds. Oh, man. You like the shades? Thanks, Bob. They stole 20 pottery. All that for 20... 20. <laughs> like r robbing a pottery barn? Okay. I want to work on the military as our defenses now. Like, I don't want to build walls. I want to get that military up. Let's even get some more money from the foundries. And if we get more bricks, I can upgrade that again, too. Hmm, the hospital has herbs. Interesting. Probably for the workers to eat. All right, our goal again is to get that population back up to 500.
The Autobahn? No, I didn't go to Germany. Well, I did briefly for a moment. I was on a train that just passed through Germany. Just for a few minutes. My money's trending back up. Oh man, the city, I tell you. Well, happiness is through the roof. Birth rate at 95%, immigration rate 96%, combat effectiveness 114%. Wow. Reminder, trader. Ah, we can only do trades in the spring. And they kind of were on their way out. We gotta move that building, too. A lot of things are getting moved and built now. This is good, though. Alright, bakery. Our basket shop. Let's move that over here for now. We've been doing a lot of work today, man. Moving all these buildings around has been a good, I think, a good call. But now we can actually um, get a little bit more space for buildings within the city. I actually could build a fort over here, too. Maybe, like, right here. Next to the uh, trade depot and stuff. That, that would be a good spot for that. Lots of bread. Cheese is back up, too. Oh, blizzard. Oh, we got plenty of firewood. We're good. Oh, looks like all the rat things reset. Okay. We'll move them all over there and then reset them over the city. There should be another one around. I think we'll build a few more of these just to have them all properly laid out. Yeah, if you like Anno 1800, you're definitely going to like this game, yeah. It's got a little bit more combat, too, or at least ground combat. And uh, the defense building is very fun. But I like building the, uh, yeah, I like building forts, putting a wall around it, and then having a 
military inside and then have the enemy dare to attack my fort. It's fun that way. You're not going to get me. And then they try to get me. Anno doesn't have ground combat. This one does. Now, there's no date for a release, but um, I think it'll be this year in the summer. Oh, there's the blizzard. Woo! Xbox said it's releasing on their platform, PC and Xbox, on April 26, 2024. Manor Lords, you mean? Manor Lords is releasing on April 26. I didn't even know that was coming to console. I, th I think that'll only be PC, at least at the start. Okay, well now we can finally, like, chill a little bit. Literally. Um... Wait for money and stuff to come in. We need to get about 50 more people locked in. Yeah, the smoke from the chimneys is great. Plus, it's all white smoke from the, the wood. for the first time in a while we'll just speed up the time a little bit because there's really not much I can do as we stand by. I gotta move these uh, thingies around too. Next we gotta move these hunters camps out of here. I think we'll probably do hunting maybe we'll move this down a little bit and do a big hunting facility maybe here. Hunting and then all the smoked meat and fish can be there too. Or we could build a smoker here for fish. That might be easier. Then they don't have to walk, which is way easier. What is that? Oh, manure. I think we have some capacity for it. Yeah, I want to put another barracks like down here, maybe. Or even down here. I, I mean, when we're done, we'll probably do that, but... slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
A villager has been cured. Good. Good money coming in. Let's make it an even 7k. Nice. Nice. Another bear axe, you say? Yes, another bear axe, yes. Hmm. Not too full. Could build some towers here too to protect the uh, stuff if they try to attack. Which you know they will. You know they will. Build a little road. <laughs> Roads? <laughs> Roads? Alright, let's cure these rat outbreaks. I think we're going to reset all these thingies. I want to reset all the rat traps, so we're going to keep them local. Well, that one worked there. That one can work here. That one can work there. Alright, then these ones... Um, hmm. Those will be on standby. Check on it later. Game's insane. You played over 80 hours. That's good. I hope you've enjoyed. Okay, so one here. We'll go down the lines. Okay, so we got like three free rat catchers that we haven't done anything with yet. So we'll search for more rat outbreaks, and if they happen, boom, we'll strike. Boom! Tough actin' to actin'. Boom. You have 460 hours in this game? What's everybody's hours in uh, Farthest Frontier? Anybody who plays, what, what, what do you got? I think I've got over a thousand hours. Let me check real quick. I am at... Steam won't open. There we go. Um, checking. Oh. Well, it feels like a thousand hours. I'm at 400 hours. I got 400. And I played this game every day for a month, too, which I think is probably why I thought it was a thousand hours to where it's like, after I did that, like, one month nonstop straight of playing, I kind of, like, took a little bit of a break a few times where I'm just like, I want 1.0 to come out. I want 1.0 to come out. But it's nice to be playing like this because, uh, you know, now we get to see all the military stuff in a prefab city. 
when 1.0 comes out though obviously we have to restart from the very beginning like we're we're just we're doing a full fresh start 1.0 it's gonna be grand you have 340.6 few people around two well, looks like most people around 200 100 and 200 hours nice that's good all part of my evil plan. Uh, let's transfer stone back into storage. Could buy a little bit of clay. Buy like 200 for the bricks when we make them. All right, standing by for more. I'm proud of you, chat. Hundreds of hours. Thank you for all the follows on Twitch, too. By the way, the next four people to follow on Twitch bring us up to 19,800. So exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat. Four of you will be the lucky ones to get in before the big O... Uh, 19,800. Beautiful. I'm the reason you found this game. Oh, good, I'm glad you found it. Oh, and uh, we're done filling up these cemeteries here. Now we're working on the big one. So 37 out of 160, and then the crypt will start filling up with 2,000. So that'll be perfect. Does it count hours when paused? Uh, yeah, I think Steam just keeps track of how long it's been open on your computer. So I guess technically you could fall asleep with the game open and paused and it would count, but I feel like most most people who've played the game are actually like, I mean, there might be a little bit where you step away, go work on dinner or something, and then come back. But I feel like the most, most people are actually there playing. Yo, Grandma Pancakes, thanks for following over on Twitch. All right, three more. There better not be a raid this year. Yeah, our city's been, like, attacked more frequently than usual. Yep, there's the Twitch link. AJ, thank you very much for the Twitch follow as well. Appreciate it, bro. Two more to go. Fall asleep while playing. Well, you could pause it, you know, like you could hit the pause button. And so Steam technically thinks you're still playing, but it doesn't know that the game is paused. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Oh. And GR1, thank you very much for the follow as well. Next person to follow is our 19,800th. Uh, army buildings this here, like this fort here. This is where you recruit and train troops. You wish Train Simulator was multiplayer? Me too, Harry. We'll have to do some more construction sim, though. You, me, and Rick and whomever else will have to play when the uh, more of the Year 2 stuff is out. Right now, it's just like that extended crew cab that everyone can drive in, but... Uh-oh. Uh smallpox again. Let's see what happens. Maybe they've chilled out with the smallpox now. You know, actually, maybe what I should do is, now that this version is fully released... 
Should we should we save and update real quick? Let's do an update. Chat saying that the, the the public release is out, so let's uh let's see if there were any changes. We're gonna we're gonna do a update and restart. Thanks for the content. Well, thank you very much for following. And we now have nineteen thousand eight hundred people following on Twitch. All right, next two hundred people to follow are in before twenty thousand Twitch followers. That's awesome. Thank you very much for following. All right, we're not done yet. I'm just updating my game to make sure that we have the latest version of Farthest Frontier. So let's turn off the uh, thing there. And let's let it update and we'll play the... Uh, essentially, I think it's rather unchanged, but I just want to make sure we're playing on the latest version. And if it updates, then... Oh, there it is. Yep. There's our update. Okay. Let's get it. All right. Boom. Locked in. Beautiful. Yep, so now we're on the official version 0.9.2, which is public for everybody. So everything you've seen here, you don't need a password for. Just make sure you've updated your game and you're good to go. So the catapults, the cavalry, the horses, the chickens, the goats, the uh, new military options, the new military troops, the increased raids, all the other stuff, all finally unlocked. Manor Lords versus Farthest Frontier can only buy one. What do you buy? Well... Farthest Frontier, because you can't <laughs> you can't buy Manor Lords yet. But for me, since I played Farthest Frontier, like if I could, if and when I could buy Manor Lords, I I would buy that immediately because I haven't played much Manor Lords, even though I played a ton of the demo. Everybody and me who all played the demo, we played tons of it, but it just it wasn't enough, you know. Okay, let's keep going. What? Oh, it's like we're being raided every spring now. This is horrible. Our population will never recover. Back up to uh, 500. But remember, we got a bonus now where our arrows do 15% more damage. So towers are even more powerful now. Oh, wow, look at that. Damn it, smallpox outbreak too. Dude, the smallpox outbreak happens almost every time they attack. I feel like they're they're doing uh, chemical warfare, biological warfare. Oh, this is actually really good for us. We may lose a tower, that's okay. Wow. Yeah, we checked out uh, Millennia on the channel. Um, a couple weeks ago. In a video.
I think we'll be alright on this attack. I think we'll be okay. Shroud of the Unknown sh uh, Soldier increases duration of shoes, linen, cloth, and coats by 20%. That's new. I don't, I don't remember that before. Or they changed what it does. So longer clothes durability. That's good. Very expensive, though. Okay, I think we've successfully defended against another raid. That's our third raid now. How are these doing no damage? I'm sending out the military. Have them deal with them. Aquain, thanks for the hundo, dude. Destroy the non believers. I know, bro. We got this covered. We're good. Err. Oh, looks like they're giving up. And now we'll see a huge number of villagers get sick. Send the military back. We got a ton of crap to pick up now. We now need to make up a population of 70. Big setbacks. The combat does remind me of Pharaoh, yeah. Wait, this was Relic Excavation Site is under attack? Wait. Are these guys attacking because of a relic? Seems like reloading the save was maybe a bad idea. It re-triggered some of the... Uh, with the update and reloading the save, maybe it made all those relics get mad and attack us. Man. We're just getting too much old age. Too many raids. Oh, another death. Now we got drunk people attacking the place. I think it's they're mad because they're out of beer. Good. Man, what a day. The city has certainly been more organized now and has grown, but not the population. I believe people are dying to death. Hold on. Hmm. 
Yo, Fredneck, thank you very much for the tier one resub. Appreciate it. Yeah, pe people are dying to death. We could buy some iron because we're not... Uh We're not making as much iron because we're trying to make more gold. And she doesn't really have good prices today. She's not buying for a lot. What are you selling? Oh god, they've destroyed some statues too. Oh, it's going to take a lot of money to repair all these um, towers and things too. Put money back into the city. Alright, we gotta build another fort somewhere. We got to. I wanna build it around here. Gonna scoot some things out of the way. We'll try to put a, a fort up here too. So we'll have one defending our uh, industrial area, which is really important, and they come in from up there often. And then we'll have one de defending our town hall and our trade depot, and we'll put our vault over here too, which is very important too. Would more crossbows help the towers? Ah, uh, yeah, they all have crossbows. We just need the raiders to leave us alone. <sighs> Autumn rains, how pretty. Two villagers born. We've made a ton of money and we've done a ton of organization, so that's good. We've moved everything around. Aquain Bay with additional 400. Hype train, let's go. 400. The Twitch hype train is real. Another death. And our population is just trending down. We we need to have, like, uh, every year we just need to have an immigrant group of, like, 20 people in. Mandatory.
Mandatory attendance. Move some of the hunting areas too. Uh, another death. Everything's just trending down. This is this is gonna be tough. Let's move those. Bum, bum, bum. More deaths than bursiers was due to a lack of entertainment. Yeah, here we've got entertainment at 74%. Food's kind of our deal right now. Um, but I think it's beer as well. why we're not producing so much beer. We've got plenty of grain, plenty of honey. Ah, oh, we can increase the number of employees there. That's what we'll do. Our food has been down ever since that initial attack. We've been having trouble uh, getting those numbers back up. Oh, we got 24 chickens, so that's good. That means we got eggs year-round. Where's food? More food is needed. Also, they destroyed one of our cheese makers at one point. All right, so we went from moving money and military to now we got to go to food, I think, and uh, fertility. Getting people having more babies. Getting these rookie numbers up. We went from 500 to 64. Bad. But I think maybe 20 of those were old age deaths. Maybe. It happens. Yeah, everyone always tells me like six months food storage and maybe even seven. It, it is hard to kind of manage that though. We'll see. What's up, GM? We're going to try to put a, more of an emphasis on food production now, I think. Yellow hoodie, yeah. There's just some transparency here, that's all. Look. We'll work on food now.
Really want to get those preserves going, though. Orchards. <laughs> you have 1,800 hours in this game? Wow. Hey, two people immigrated. Good. How are we doing on glassware? Eight hundred and seven. So chill out on that. Rat catchers, teachers, coopers. Okay, we need a lot more milk. Come on, get him some milk. I think the problem is we're making too much milk and not all of it can be converted to cheese. So we gotta get more people working in the cheese industry. Hi, Crate Entertainment. Yes, we're playing on the uh, official live version now of 9.2. It's fun. I love it. Not hard at all. Oh. Oh, we got desirability problem because that statue. That's getting rebuilt. That's fine. Got a lot of buildy builders who are building. We gotta get our goats set up too, but I'm, I'm gonna work on that cheese first. Try to get those rookie numbers up. Another long winter. Let's speed it up. Uh, Winky Studios, thanks for the five. Sup, bruh. Sup. Thank you. Could toss some more keys to your fans if you're up for it. Can email you them in a second. No, no, no. Our viewers hate free stuff. Chat, Crate Entertainment, the makers of Grim Dawn and this game known as Farthest Frontier want to give me a bunch of keys to give away to you guys. Are you, are you guys sure? No, you, you wouldn't want that, would you? I don't, I don't, I don't think they'd want that. Because if they did, they'd get to 500 likes. And then we could do a big giveaway. But it's the, it's the only way it would be possible. If everybody watching was to hit the like button. I mean, there's no, there's no possible way they'd be interested in playing a game that releases in 1.0 this year. One of the biggest city builders on the channel. They 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 want to pay full price, double actually. They'll buy eight copies and then only play one. That's what chat wants. 
All right, chat. Well, you know, if you if you want me to do some giveaways, we could we could talk. You know, <laughs> actually, most of you probably already own this, but yeah, we could definitely do a giveaway. That'd be cool. That'd be nice. I think I think everybody would like that. And probably, chat, we won't do a giveaway on all the keys today. If they if they send more than one, um, we'll be playing this a few more times. Obviously, between now and the release, and then of course we'll be starting over and playing again on the release. So. There'll certainly be the the far t the the frontier in which was the furthest is now getting closer. So it's now uh, not as far as it once was frontier. Closer frontier? No, I like calling it not as far as what it once was. It's a very it's a very wordy title. All right, cool stuff being built. Trades are on the way, and probably raids are on the way. Trades and raids every damn su uh, spring. Ugh. Horrible. That one was just there for the bears. <laughs> Even further, Frontier. Yeah, if they delay it, be like, guys, we've delayed it just one day. Tee hee. <laughs> That'd be great. Each day there's just a new tweet. Guys, we just need another day. And then they just do that for like another six months. Guys. Guys, we need another day. We added another type of bear to the game. There's now black bears, brown bears, grizzly bears, bear grills. We've added bear grills to the game. <laughs> He's been locked in. Just one more day, Frontier, yeah. That sounds like a, a song from... Um, like Mary Poppins or something. Tomorrow's only a day away. Okay. So we're going to cut down all those trees and make way for the city. No. Nobody sh should be getting scurvy. I didn't allow for that. I didn't approve that. The Frontier just got a little farther, yeah. Yeah, someone should do a trailer for Farthest Frontier as if it were a Jon Favreau movie. Where the music plays and then the music has to stop when someone says something dumb and funny. I hate cranberries. You know, something stupid like that. I hate, I hate cranberries. Club director Jon Favreau. comes a new frontier. Oh, we went from 466 to 463. Bro, we were at 500. These raiders and all this stuff taking it out. A madge. I just need a year off, please. Just give me one year to recover, please. Oh, we got to rebuild that building and then move it? And it's got to have that, every every song has to have, you know, or I mean, every trailer has to have that one song. You know what I'm talking about. Do you have to start a new map for the update? Uh, you don't, no. You do for some things, like having raider camps that have horses in them at the start, but you'll still be attacked by horses and things. I don't, I don't think you should need to, no. Yeah, we should do a trailer for, uh, should do a comedy trailer for Farthest Frontier. Because it has to have this music, you know what I mean? Hold on, you're, you're, you're going to know what song I'm talking about. Hold on. You all know what I'm about to play. You've all heard the song. You know what it is. Every comedy movie has to have this. That's basically what it has to be. From Crate Entertainment comes Farthest Frontier. Whoa! Look at this wagon going 90 degrees up a hill. Are you guys going to patch that? No. no. <laughs> 
No, we have no plans to. No. No, why would we do that? It's. No. <laughs> uh. Hilarious frontier. <laughs> Careful, Raptor, you might get supermarket swept. Yeah, I know. You can get fully shut down. Well, playing this today has made me maybe want to change my plans from playing Stardew Valley to Bellright, because people keep asking if I'm going to play that demo. And I honestly didn't like Bellright and the demo, because it was confusing and weird, and I didn't, I didn't get it. But I'm willing to try it again and learn. You know what I mean? Like, I think the issue was on me. And we were playing a bunch of demos that day, and we didn't have much time, so... I can't really judge an entirety of a game from just a little bit of a demo. You enjoyed the Viking Village game? Oh, yeah. Chat. We've received an email from Crate Interactive. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you very much. All right. Enter entertainment. Thank you, Crate Entertainment. They sent over a few keys. So I'll, uh, I think I'll start those giveaways maybe tomorrow or the next time we play. At the start of our next Farthest Frontier stream, I'll do giveaways at the start for the early birds. So make sure you subscribed and turn on the notification bell and jump in at the start of every stream. And your punishment for doing so will be a free game key giveaway for Farthest Frontier. It's the greatest comedy of the uh, of 2024. Okay, so we got to move that building. We got to keep making more cheese. Cheese makers shouldn't have to travel that far. I think we'll put storage in this area too for milk and cheese. Huh. Emilio Estevez is the frontier. He just lays down in a wagon, rolls over him. Okay, we're here. You want me to play Stardew? I want to play too. But I also want to play uh, Bellwright and like what's super fresh and new because I don't think we've really seen that before on the channel. Yeah, so we'll do the giveaway in the stream, and I'll just, uh, I think we'll, I don't know, we, we may, may do it through the Discord or something. Or I'll somehow figure out a way to randomly pick somebody, and then we'll uh, get you the key on Discord. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Bom, 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 bom. More horses. Are we selling medicine? Oh, he wants to buy medicine for dirt cheap. Uh huh. No, sir. But I could buy these for big money masook. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy all the steel. Nope, not gonna buy, not gonna buy that much. All right, I'll buy like a hundred. Ah, we'll do two hundred. Then I'll sell the rest of those glassware. Then I'll put another two fifty glassware in there. He's leaving in twelve days. That'll be enough. As long as we can keep making weapons and um, armor. 
shields. Yeah, mod support's coming. In, uh... I forget if it's 1.0 or in this version. I can't remember. Oh, another death. Dude, at this rate... Oh, two deaths. God. At this rate, it's like baby born, person die. Alright, I'm gonna shut down these then. We're gonna keep these built... For when the city expands. I will cover that corner with a little overlap. Okay, that should take care of the rats. I think the chickens keep getting into the hay thing. That's fine. They barely eat anything. Final pass on official mod support is in this update. Oh, first pass. First pass. Okay. Alright, so there is official mod support as of now. But I have a real question, though. Where is Holland Oats? That's the first mod I want, is Hall & Oates on the uh, Farthest Frontier startup screen. Oh, yeah! Here we go. Oh, people heard the call. <laughs> hey, is there Hall & Oates over here? What the hell's going on? <laughs> Hall & Oates fans want to visit the city. Yes, accepted. Wow, you're making my dreams come true. Yeah! <laughs> wow. All right, what the hell are these houses? Oh wow, I haven't I haven't seen a homestead in so long. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, is, are those two basket makers? Uh, I think we can move these down here. scoot that house over there for now it's really fun in this game to like reorganize stuff I really I really like being able to just build stuff quick and then later on come back with like wanting to do it with care and then decorate and stuff because sometimes you just want to build something to get it done other times it's just like you put a lot of work into it uh, alright so the big problem is now we got some Decorations, no, I mean uh, statues or something that were destroyed, so decor... Happiness is... Dropped because of that. Oh, the hell? Where's the beer? Oh, 62. Okay, we are making beer. Good. We can put more people in beer production. If we want. Oh. Yeah, they're hauling oats. That's what they're... Actually, yeah, day one of petitioning uh, Crate Entertainment to put in oats <laughs> as, a, as a product in which can be made. Because think about it then, chat. Then you can make oatmeal cookies. And I love myself some oatmeal cookies. Day one petition begins. I'm going to call their office. Hello? Oh, Domino's? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll take a number one. Two topping, extra large. And in charge. You can also request goods from traveling merchants. Yeah, that was one of the new things in the update, which was great. Being able to uh, 
If you need bricks or something like that, just order it from people. I forgot we could do... We've gone so long without being able to do that. There's going to be some things I just don't even do because I forget that they can be done. You know what I mean? Like eastbound and down. Being loaded up and trucking. Do what they say can't be done. All right. It is a tumultuous time for us. We were at about 500 population, exceeded 500, and then got like raided like three times in a row. And... Um, had some other stuff happen, too, and it really hurt the city. But one good thing is that we've reorganized the city, and it looks much better and I think is more efficient. And we've also got our um, little military fort ready and rocking up there, too. And we're bringing in a lot more money, which means we can hire a big military and actually defend ourselves. Walls are good, but remember, they don't, like, they don't fight back. So to kill these raiders, we need a lot more military muscle and more uh, of the variety, too, like the pikemen and the cross bowmen or whatever and the light and heavy infantry and i think we'll get more heavy infantry so they have higher survivability which will be better for our population which is good too oatmeal cookies would be too op don't make me call i know your number okay um yeah good oats i want my oats Very cool. All right, so uh, next time we play, we're going to be rebuilding parts of the city and continuously moving things around, and we're going to start uh, focusing more on that recruiting. I think what we'll do is we'll probably maybe cut some people away from the farming, put them into the military so we can defend ourselves, and then uh, try to get the food numbers back up by cutting from some other in industry. we got to defend first before we uh, expand a little bit more. Good stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to be playing a lot more Farthest Frontier now that the uh, 9.2 update is officially out. We did check it out the day before and uh, watch the live stream on that. And so we'll be back for more. I know you guys really like Farthest Frontier, and so do I. And so now do we. Um, now that we're very close to release, also we'll be, pr we'll be probably playing this a little bit more before release and then a lot more afterwards. And I think this is a good palate cleanser between Manor Lords and... Like, when I get bored of Manor Lords, I'll probably be like, I want to play Farthest Frontier. And then when I get bored of Farthest Frontier, I'll go back and forth. They're, it's great, man. It's like it's like a ham and cheese sandwich. Like, you know, they go well together. I love it. All right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit for our next stream, which might be Stardew Valley, but could be Bellright. I don't know. i got to run, though, and get some stuff done for today, so I'll be back in a little bit. I do want to play a lot more Farthest Frontier, so it, it hurts that I have to go, but I do. All good things must come to an end. Uh, next time we play, I'll also be doing some... Uh, giveaways of Farthest Frontier, courtesy of the developers. So thank you very much to them for sending it over. And thank you very much to all of you for watching. We'll uh, live stream next time. And if you have questions, uh, please do ask in the chat. And maybe the devs will drop by. And we'll do a little Q&A on what's new in 9.2, which I think we covered most things. And what could be waiting in 1.0. I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And remember, flood their forums with requests for oats and oatmeal cookies. Let me check the forums now. Oh, good. Over 2,000 posts now requesting it. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good. All right. I'll see you all in a while. Bye.